this thing is really fun. I like blasted down the hill on this. The first two turns I took on this on like a pretty steep section of a uh, black run, I like literally whooped with joy because I was having so much fun on these. Hey everybody, JF from Ski and Bike Magazine. I'm here at beautiful Norquay with, check this out. Look at this guy over here. He's back! Our, our retired veteran ski tester, Mike, which uh, we miss him. Such a, he's a great ski tester, but you know what? He's running out of words. On behalf of Ski and Bike Magazine from beautiful Norquay, our favorite testing grounds. And I have to say, this is probably, if I can say it, the best day of the year. Blue skies, granular snow, cold temperature, March sun to keep you nice and warm with that cool breeze. But with that, we have some fast conditions. This ski loves these conditions. We've had a little bit of snow hit all, all week, so we've had a bunch to push around in the trees. The groomers, Norquay always hits it out of the park with the fantastic groomers. Lots of corduroy to have fun on. I'm, uh, I'm testing now the uh, line blades. Um, I'm, this ski here is a 180, 95 underfoot, and um, gas pedal metal, as it says. It's, it's legit, it honestly is the ski. It, you can really feel these skis when you go back to back with different different makes of ski and just how much one ski feels faster than the other, how much one ski turns better than the other. And this one here, you can lean it over hard. It holds, it bites so well. Also has a really cool graphic. I like the uh, retro vibe. I was wondering if it was like channeling the movie Blade, like the original old one. I was saying that I think this color is the exact color my dad had a really wicked pair of vocal skis like i think the tigers in the 90s like 19 circuit 1991 they were this exact color and i i really like the vibe they've got going on with the ski it's a cool graphic now it's great when a ski looks cool but what's it like to ski on it's fast it's stable very easy to initiate a turn you want to hunker down do a few fast joint slalom turns down your favorite run. The ski holds it very well. And then when you get onto a pitch or some short radius turns come into play, the ski is very easy to set and release. It does everything well. You don't have to be an accomplished skier. I think this ski would adhere to almost any type of skier as long as you get the right length. Unfortunately, I think um, I think that line has really uh, struggled finding the niche for this ski and the right consumer because the right consumer are right here. Um, I don't think this is a ski that I'd sell to a dude who usually skis on line. I think this is a ski for the guy who's used to skiing on slalom skis uh, out east and moves out west and wants to be able to ski groomer zoomers. Uh, and if there's powder, there's powder because I mean, this is a fairly wide ski um, and it has a profile that would handle some soft snow. Um, but it's one of those skis that they used to do a long time ago. Uh, you know, a wide, very parabolic ski. Um, it has a bit of a twin, so you can slough it around and not necessarily finish your turn if you need to. But the, the, the whole profile of this ski is hard. I, I, I can't, I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna repeat myself. It's hard to categorize. I would say that I felt very in control on the blade the entire time we were skiing steep sections, amazing ski conditions at Norquay today, by the way, it's sunny, but it's actually quite, the air is quite cold. So the snow was really fast. And this ski was also really fast and it was really fun to go really, really fast. It's got this nice big shovel on it and it's got a nice wide tail on it with the 95 under it. So it's got a really great shape. So it really does give you a nice tight turn. I'm venturing around this 18, maybe 17 meter turn radius. 180, I'm 170 pounds, I'm a 5'8". It's a perfect size for me. It's, it's just a lot of fun. I, I can't say it enough. It's a little bit stiffer of a ski. It's great, lots of damping. You don't hear this thing at all under you. This ski is perfect for me. I believe it's a 180. I'm six feet tall. Yeah, I like to ski. I like to ski fast. I like to ski slow. The ski is beautiful. And with so many brands out there today, what do you get? If you want to change up 
you can make a mistake. It's just another great ski on the market to have fun and enjoy your day out in the mountains. Person skiing this ski is a good skier, ex-racer, uh, older guy. I don't think it's a young dude. I've, I've looked at I've looked at Lines catalog of images in their um, in, in their marketing site, and you see this. You see people on on rails, and you see guys skiing these without poles. I get it. You know that's Lines main demographic, but. Dude, if you're in your 50s and you want a ski that hauls ass and you want a ski that doesn't lock you into one turn shape. I think that it was substantial enough and stiff enough that I really felt in control and like it handled the chop really well also. So yeah, this blade ski, super wicked. It has the, uh, the gas pedal metal. And I think that that's probably what helped it perform so well at high speeds and also what helped with the great amount of control that I had in the chop. I was very pleasantly surprised by the blade. I think that, um, well, line is usually for, for guys or kids that want to play in the park. That's not this ski. Uh, it's great to see that they're able to have a variety of people that they're catering to in their line of skis. It looks cool. It's freaking fun to ski on. If you can test one out, definitely give it a shot. I really like the ski. I took it into the trees, really easy to turn, really easy to push snow with it. The line Sakana is a little more smeary, a little bit floatier, but if you want a ski that you can go in and out of the trees and onto the grooms, you gotta take a look at this thing, it's a beast. This is kind of like, this almost has the edge presence of an RC4 from, uh, from Fisher, but it has the fun factor of a normal line ski. But certainly if you're just on groomers, especially here at Norquay, I can lay my hip down and do some trenches if I want to on this ski. This is, uh, this is a ski that if you have the opportunity to test, you've got to test this ski. I want this ski and nobody makes this ski but line. Give it a try.